Hi everybody, welcome back. I've got a project pan update video today, so I'm gonna update you on the progress of my project pan. It is a little bit small at the moment. You can definitely tell that I'm coming towards the end of the year because my project pan starts to kind of dwindle a little bit in numbers and I don't like to add too many products into the project pan towards the end of the year. I like to really instead just focus on the current products that are in the project pan. So I only have five products. They are all base products. Now I was hoping to have an empty this month, but unfortunately I don't. So there are no empties to update you on, but there is still some good progress. In terms of numbers, the numbers aren't as high as they usually are. And that's because I've had a week off work so I just haven't really felt like wearing makeup and also I've had a couple of weeks this month where I haven't really felt too well at all and I just haven't wanted to wear makeup so the numbers aren't as high as they have been if they had been then I think I would have had an empty but anyway I will just talk you through the progress on the five items first up is my foundation this is the NARS sheer glow foundation in the shade Deville this one I only wore 12 times since the previous update and this is lower than the other products in the project pan and that's because on a couple of days I didn't really want to wear this. I wanted instead to wear my Hydro Tint by Sculpted by Amy because that's just a skin tint and it's a lot more lightweight. Whereas this really is now my only, despite the name Sheer Glow, my only pretty much full coverage, like proper foundation. It's a proper liquid foundation. I've also got the Merit um, Minimalist, not skin tint, skin stick, the Minimalist stick. I have that one as well. So there have been a couple of occasions where I wanted to wear makeup, but I just didn't want to wear a foundation. Saying that though, I, I have it on today. It is still a really nice foundation. It is still very much fairly lightweight. You can build it up. It's probably, I wouldn't say it's a light coverage foundation, I'd probably say it's more like a medium coverage foundation, but it does add a nice sort of bit of radiance to your skin. So it's not flat, it does have a little bit of like life in it, but I've said this multiple times, I'm very much not a fan anymore of liquid foundations like this, regardless of whether they're, you know, light, medium or, or full coverage. I just much prefer more skin tints. So this is the last proper foundation I have in my collection. Once I've used it up, I don't think I would be repurchasing it or buying any other proper foundations. In terms of how much is left, I didn't mark this and I am still not able to see into the bottle as to how much there is. But when we started, I was kind of like up here. So I reckon I've probably got about two thirds of this left. This is coming up to being five months out of date. So I am keeping a close eye on it. I'm monitoring how it kind of sits on my skin, whether it causes any reactions, hasn't done so far. In terms of the smell, the smell still s smells the same, but if that changes, then that's a, a you know key sign that it's probably not as fresh as it once was, and then I would then get rid of it. But hopefully this will stay fine for me to completely finish off, which will probably be sort of like March or April next year. I have this Vive Bronzing Duo in my project pan. I used it 14 times since the previous update. I only use this side because this is the lighter of the two sides, shades rather. This shade is too dark and too orange. This shade is still a little bit too dark for me, not quite warm enough, but it, it's fine. I can kind of make it work but as you can see it's really kind of like come away at the edges now so I've actually used this up both by using it up as in on my face but also product crumbling off when I put my brush in it so I am being very careful I'm taking my nail tool that I only use for makeup and I'm just scraping some powder off so there's actually powder loose to pick up on my brush now, as there is only powder at the very top here, I do expect more to crumble off because it is probably really quite unstable now. There's nothing else to kind of anchor it to the rest of the pan. So who knows, if it breaks off, it could well be an empty by next update or it could stick around for a little bit longer. But I think regardless of whether I finish this off by the end of the year or not, I'm gonna get rid of it because it is out of date. It's a powder, it's fine. I can still wear it and not have any reactions but I just don't really like using this anymore as well. I'm kind of not loving wearing bronzer anymore. I think since I've discovered I'm a true spring, I just feel like it's a little bit too heavy, too muddy, perhaps even still trying to be light-handed with it. But yeah, I don't really like this bronzer as much as I once did. 
I still have some of this pink plusher left from Vive. It took me ages to hit pan on it and it's just still clinging on for dear life. I use that same nail tool and scrape off powder because it's just very difficult to get powder now because it's around the very edges. I could be done with this by the next update because although there is powder around you know half of the, the sides it is very very thin. I've scraped down quite a bit so it is very very thin in terms of width so this could be an empty by the next update but it will definitely and I will make sure of it it will definitely be an empty by the end of the year it's lovely blusher though I have thoroughly enjoyed this palette I've completely used up all, all three shades in this palette so beautiful light warm bright face shades bronzer highlighter two blushes it's been an absolute pleasure to use albeit just slightly frustrating that this one has taken so long to get to this point I don't know if I said as well but I also use this one 14 times 14 is a theme, I also use the Pesca blusher 14 times as well, also by Vive. This is a brilliant year round shade for springs and also autumns, it's just a great peach blusher. So it's warm, it's light, it's got a little bit of brightness in there as well, so it's not like a toned down muted type of blusher, it's a nice uplifting and radiant blusher. So great for like the spring and summer months, but like I say, as a spring and autumn, it's great for just a year round blusher as well. If you are a spring or autumn it, it would be a good idea to have a peach blusher in your collection if you want to do your makeup according to your season if you don't go for whatever blusher you want in terms of progress i don't think this, that this has really changed much at all i'm not expecting it to because powder blushes take an age to use up but like i say every month i'm not really bothered about, bothered about completely using this up it's in my project pan because i just hadn't touched it in a long time before putting it in the project pan and it lays really nicely with the pink blusher as well. And then the last product was one that I was really hoping to have finished off by this update, but because, like I say, I took a couple of weeks off from wearing makeup near enough because I wasn't feeling too well, it meant that I didn't use this as much as I wanted to and as much as I think it would take to finish it off, but I should hopefully finish this off by the next update. It is my Merit Day Glow, I think it is called. Yes, Citrine. It's a stick highlighter, great for just drawing on your face or on your body wherever you want a bit of highlight and citrine is a lovely light warm gold color so again great for springs great for autumns it's a really nice uplifting radiant shade of highlighter for those seasons and it's pretty level on top here and i think i did say in my previous project pan update i will scoop out what's re what's left just to see how much is in there but i don't think i would use it on my face i think i would probably just use it mixed in with a body lotion and once this has been used up, I think I will buy another highlighter. I always used to say I'm not much of a highlighter person, but like with the bronzer and realising that it's too heavy for me since discovering I'm a true spring, I've realised that actually highlighter makes a big difference in the makeup of a true spring. It just adds that bit of radiance and bit of life. So I think I will buy a different highlighter, probably still a stick one, don't think it'll be liquid, don't think it'll be powder. I think I like a cream or a stick highlighter, but no idea what that would be. But I do hope to have finished this one off by the last, by the next update rather. And it took me 14 uses, or I've used it 14 times since the last update. And that's the update. So very short and sweet, only five products to talk about. Like I said, I really hope to have finished off the Merit highlighter by the next update, but definitely by the end of the year, I would have used that highlighter up. I would have used up the bronzer as well, and I would have used up that pink blusher. So that just means that the Pesca blusher and the Narsheer Glow will probably roll into next year in terms of staying in the project pan. The foundation definitely will. Not sure what I will do about the blusher. I might just want to add in a different blusher perhaps, but that's, that's for next year. That's not to worry about for now. But like I said, that's the update. Hope you did like it. If you are doing a project pan, please let me know how the progress of your items are going. And I will see you very soon for my next video. Bye.